Hey. So next up, we have Red Oaks Island. And this is a 5 milliliter size. Let's see it. It even has a peel up for more information. Um, let's see what it tells us. I can get it. Okay, there it goes. So, just gives your ingredients um, in various languages, which is always nice. Um, has their um, their website on it, also a phone number. Um, says shake well, so I will obey the rules. And let's see. Um, also. There is no drip tip, no nothing on this, so I am assuming that this is to be used with this. And it does screw on perfectly, so my my prediction was correct. So let's let's just pull out the um, eye clear and let's just put a little tiny bit in there and see what it's like. Again, this one smells very tropical, hence seen the name Island. But uh, I personally do not like coconut, um, and that smell is very present in this. Um, so we will see. Um, obviously, uh, opinions change from people to people. I know that my flavors uh, choices are different than others. Uh, so, as one person may like this one, one may not. Um, I'm just going to give you my honest opinion. Uh, just because I do not like it does not mean that it is a bad company. Uh, all of these companies are extremely uh, well-known and known for being quality vapor, or quality liquids. So, I'm just going to shake this up a little bit because I didn't want to put too much in here. Honestly... I just bought this today for the sole purpose of testing out these liquids uh, in something other than my um, Kanger Pro Tank because I did not want to mix flavors. Um, so we will see how this works. Um, I personally do not like these tanks. They break on you very, very easily, but uh, they also are very cheap, especially online on Fast Tech is a incredible resource. So check it out. It's the Fast Test fasttech.com so f a s t t e c h dot com let's see what this is like so this honestly is not as bad as i expected um Although it smells very, very coconutty, the coconut flavor is very subtle um, and bearable to me, at least. Um, maybe nutmeg, uh, slight a slight nutty flavor underneath the coconut. It's not extremely flavorful, but I prefer that, especially if it has coconut in it. So, this is not, not too bad. Um, I was concerned about this one, if I would ever even vape it or not. Um, I think it would be cool if uh, Zamplebox started a forum or something. I know that there are some forums out there. I visit a couple of them. Uh, that have trading sections, uh, but some people like higher strength, um, higher strength nicotine levels. Some people also like specific flavors. I would be incredibly excited if Sample Box or Sample Box uh, put out a menthol um, option. That would be make my life. Um, they also have talked about in the future somewhat choosing slight preferences of. Uh, flavor profiles that you like and you don't like, which would be nice. Um, so you can 
explore specifically different areas that you will vape. Um, I honestly may not vape this one, um, at least every day, uh, but if I get low on something else, it could definitely last me through with the next box. Um, so that was Red Oaks Island from the uh, standard sample box for November 2013. Stay tuned for the other videos for each of the liquids inside and then the conclusion. Thanks.